Good evening, this is Chuck W3ON. I'm operating as W3OC Net Control for the Tubers Amateur Radio Club Net. This radio net meets every Monday here at 8 p.m. on the Tubers Amateur Radio Club repeater system operating on 147.12 and 442.250 MHz and also on Echolink. Membership in the Two Rivers ARC is not required to check in with this net, as all radio amateurs are welcome. If you'd like information about the Two Rivers ARC, you can write to us at P.O. Box 225, Greenock, PA, zip code 15047. We're also on the Internet's World Wide Web at HTTPS, colon slash slash T-R-A-R-C dot O-R-G, and also on Facebook. Radio Club meetings are held the third Tuesday of every month except in December, starting at 7 p.m. at the Plano Volunteer Fire Department Social Hall, 409 Oxford Avenue, Elizabeth, PA. Before opening this net for check-ins, there's an emergency or priority traffic at this time. Does anyone know any silent keys in the radio amateurs have recently passed away? Anything for quite a long time. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll be taking a check in here in a moment. Please, when you check into the net, keep your call sign slowly and phonetically. It may spell out your call sign. And let me know if you have any announcements or comments for the net. All righty. At this time, I'm looking for any officers of the Two Rivers ARC wish to check into Two Rivers Net. WSARC. Please recognize Kilo, Bravo, Three, Sugar, Tango, Bob, and Elizabeth Township. Evening, Chuck. Even to the net, no traffic. Somebody was uh, somebody was breaking up a little bit. Are there any other members of the board of directors wishing to check in? Not heard. All right. I'm looking for any stations that are operating on Echolink. Please call now. W3OC. This is November 3, Alpha Hotel Charlie, alongside Kilo Charlie 3, Echo Yankee Echo, Antonio and Hugo here in Pittsburgh. Um, I apologize that my mic is, is not loud right now. I'm trying to fix that, but this will do for now. Good evening to you, Chuck, and those on the net. No traffic. Okay, Antonio. Any other, anybody else on Echo Link? All right, now I'm looking for stations. We're operating mobile, portable, or outside of Allegheny County. In Irwin, good evening, everybody. I have no traffic for the net. Dan Beaver County. Good evening, Chuck. Good evening to the net. W3OC. Please copy. Kilo Alpha 3. Yankee Golf Lima. Portable. Bruce in South Carlinville. Good evening, Chuck. Good evening to the net. No further comments. Net control. Net control, recognize, Kilo, Three, Charlie, Romeo, Oscar, John, Baldwin, no comments, no traffic. 
Net Control, please recognize Kilo, Charlie, 3, Victor, Yankee, Mike, Wes, from Jefferson Hills. I got a bunch in there. There was a bunch of doubling going on at the very beginning. <clears throat> Here's what I got. November 3, Alpha Hotel Charlie, along with Kilo Charlie 3, Yankee, Echo, Yankee, Echo, or Echo Link. Kilo Bravo 3, Delta Victor Delta. Kilo Bravo 3, Victor Sierra Papa. Kilo Alpha 3, Yankee Golf Lima Portable. Kilo Charlie 3, Victor Yankee Mexico. And November 3, Tango Alpha uni for Uniform. Anybody else mobile, portable, or outside of Allegheny County? WS3OC. Please copy Kilo Bravo 3, Oscar X ray Hotel Bill in Hancock County, West Virginia. Good evening, cop, all on the net, and no traffic. W3OC. Please copy Kilo Alpha 3. Foxtrot Whiskey, Quebec, Jeff in Greensburg. Good evening, everyone. Okay, got Tito Bravo 3 Oscar X ray Hotel. Kilo Alpha 3 Fox Whiskey Quebec and Rich Kilo Charlie 3 Zoo Charlie Sir. Hello there, Rich. Anybody else? Mobile Portable right out of Allegheny County. to try to you uh, you your broadcast repeater talk a little bit longer anybody else mobile portable or outside of Allegheny County K3 SQP Frank in North Hankin good evening Chuck Okay, I got K3, Kilo 3, Sugar, Quebec, Papa. Okay, now we'll open up for general check-ins. Anyone else has check-in call now? Net control, please copy. Kilo, Charlie 3, Sierra, Uniform, Lima. Paul over here in Pleasant Hills. No comment, no traffic. W3OC. Whiskey, Alpha 3, Bravo, Oscar, Juliet. Ted Squirrel Hill and the noise level is higher than just about anybody else on here. W3OC, uh, WA3I, only here at Chuck's house. And uh, the guy at Pleasant Hills, you beat me, didn't you? This is Kilo Alpha 3, Kilo Sierra Papa, Jim and Carnegie. W3OC. This is Kilo 3, Hotel India Romeo, Merle and Elizabeth Township. This W3 OC. Here's what I got. Kilo Charlie 3 Sugar United Lima. Whiskey America 3 Bravo Oscar Japan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whiskey Alpha 3 India Oscar Uniform. Kilo Alpha 3 Kilo Sugar Papa. And Kilo 3 Hotel India Radio. Okay. Anybody else, please? Anybody else? Okay, all right. Thank you all for taking the time to check us this evening. Uh, happy happy holidays to you and your families. Hope everybody's doing okay. 
nice to see we got a little bit of a break in the uh, in the uh, cold weather. Of course, it rained most of the day here, and uh, so it's uh, supposed to be a little, a little bit warmer tomorrow, I hope, and uh, it's kind of nice to see that uh, rather than all oh, that extreme cold weather we had here, uh, here over the, I guess, over the weekend. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. I got I got a news I got a news line keyed up on the computer. Let me flip the switch over there for that. And uh, um, we have some general information regarding the various activities and things like that. Here's some stuff for the Two Rivers Club. Um, where's that list at? Uh, we have uh, various club activities on the air activities uh, uh, that are held during each month. Um, we have three other radio nets that meet during the week. Um, of course, this one, of course, is on Monday nights. And then uh, <clears throat> on Wednesday nights at uh, 8.30 p.m., we have the Two Rivers ARC two-meter gab net. That's usually hosted by Steve W3 Sugar Hotel Fox. Uh, it gets quite a few people on. Thursday nights, we have a 10-meter net on 28.460. On a 10 meter band, upper side band. And then on uh, Friday nights uh, at uh, 6, 6 p.m., uh, we have the 40 meter version of the, of the, of the Two Rivers uh, cabinet. It's on frequency 72, 15 plus or minus uh, activity. Uh, that's usually hosted by uh, Mitchell, W3 Oscar, India Echo. So uh, you're welcome to join us for any of these nets. Uh, we also have a, uh, a once a month, we have a thing called the Operations Night. It's a social activity with the club members. Anybody else who wishes to visit, visit us starts at 7 p.m. Uh, it's held at the uh, Lincoln Borough Volunteer Fire Department Social Hall at 4312 Liberty Way up in Elizabeth, PA. It's a Liberty Borough, but uh, they call it the address as Elizabeth, PA. Welcome to, to join us. Uh, we have on-the-air activities um, for a couple of hours, and we would operate on the HF bands if you're wish to come out and operate, you can. You don't have to be licensed for that. We usually have enough um, licensed operators there to act as control operators if you wish to operate. Uh, so we operate HF uh, usually on um, 40 meters through 10. On the nights we have a um, uh, operations night, we do not have a 10 meter net. So uh, uh, our next one's coming, coming up. And by the way, we also have an exa uh, the uh, Two Rivers ARC Volunteer Examiner Team has exam sessions four times a year, uh, plus at the uh, at, at usually at the club at the club ham fest in usually in April. The next next one uh, coming up for the exams is tomorrow night at uh, 6:30 p.m. at the McKeesport Area High School, um, 3910 I think it's Eatonburg Boulevard in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> they do take walk-ins. We usually use a classroom for that. Um, if you, if you, at this late date, it'd be pretty a little tough to get get registered, but that's okay. Uh, if you still wish to take a test or know somebody wants to take an amateur radio exam test, they can they can do that. Uh, there's details on this this kind of stuff up on our club website at trarc.org. Um, as I said, we have a, we have operations night coming up this Thursday night. Of course, of course, it's the second Thursday of each month. And then, of course, at the end of this uh, end of this week on uh, on Saturday is the Two Rivers ARC uh, um, a holiday dinner uh, for club members and their families. Uh, that starts at one o'clock p.m. Um, uh, hope everybody is going to come. I hear there's a pretty good. Uh, people who have, who have RSVP'd or signed up for that, and I know I'm one of them, so I'm looking forward to seeing many of your smiling faces there for the for the club uh, uh, Christmas party. And also, uh, on the long range, the, the radio club has announced it's, uh, um, it's, it's Hamfest for uh, 2025. It's on April the 6th. It starts at 8 a.m. at the Lincoln Borough Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, number 184, that's what they call it, the Social Hall, 4312 Liberty Way, Elizabeth, PA. More information on that is to be announced. Okay.
Okay, we also have an exam, uh, not exam, we have class that's going to be starting. Class that I don't have it written down here, but it's, I think it starts on April the 15th and runs for six weeks uh, at the Lincoln Borough Volunteer Fire Department uh, uh, Social Hall. You can tell we have a lot of our activities up there uh, for that. Okay, looking at the regular calendar of things coming up. Okay, uh, we got an announcement there last week that the Santa Radio Net is, has started up. It started up on um, on uh, Thanksgiving Day and runs till New Year's Eve. Uh, it, it meets on the on 80 meter band at 8 o'clock p.m. local time, 39.16 kilohertz. Runs for a mile a month, and every night uh, we have that. Coming up this weekend, the 14th and 15th, is the ARL 10-meter contest on the HF bands. I think should be really hopping for that. Also on the 14th, uh, the, there's an amateur emergency service meeting. I think, I, I think that date's wrong. I think they just had that. Um, yeah, that, that, they think they just had that. Uh, no, it's, it's coming up on the 14th, 9.30 a.m. at the Still City Amateur Radio Club Clubhouse in Credit PA. Looking a little bit into January, January 11th, it's the uh, Ham Fest. It, it's called Winter Fest. It's uh, held in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area. Also on the uh, 11th of January is the another contest, the 25th Annual Wireless Association uh, 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 2-meter uh, contest. It runs from 7 till 10 p.m. on 2-meter on simplex. It's, uh, it's all modes. Uh, uh, as far as I know, it's all modes. It's single sideband, CW, uh, FM, uh, no repeaters. So that's uh, that's coming up, and of course at the end of January is the 25th and 26th is the uh, Winter Field Day. Um, a lot of clubs participate in that, including Two Rivers. Uh, we're going to be up at the Lincoln Borough Volunteer Fire Company up there. You're welcome to join us for that. Uh, MFS wise, the local first local MFS that I'm aware of is on the 23rd of February. Forest Association of South Hills has their Wash Fest that's held at uh, 8 a.m. in the morning at the South Park Home Economics Building, 3735 Buffalo Drive, South Park, Pen South Park, Pennsylvania. Okay, that's kind of what I see on the calendar here. Hopefully, uh, uh, folks can make up. Okay, looking at the ARL DX bulletin, I'll give you a little bit of up, update on this is dated on uh, December 5th, so that would have been last week. Uh, let's see, some of the highlights are Maldives, that's an island group, I think, in, uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly where that's at. 8 um, Quebec 7, India Lima, Singapore, 9 Victor 1, Charlie Foxtrot, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, uh, it's going to be on Alpha 91 November Delta, Bar Range National Day, and that only runs for the 16th, so that's going to be ending pretty soon. A little interesting. Uh, in Cuba, a group of operators are, uh, are will be operational as Tango 46 Whiskey from KO Santa Maria, I Iota. That's the island on the air, island number, November off, November Alpha 204. Oh, that's already ended up, sorry. It ended on the 10th. Okay, uh, South Korea is going to be on at HL0 Yankee Oscar Tango Alpha. That's one of those, that's one of those uh, young people on the air activities. Wake Island, uh, Kilo Hotel 7 Alpha Lima Stroke Kilo Hotel 9. Um, Egypt, 
Sugar Uniform 8, Yankee Oscar Tango Alpha. So as you can tell, that Yoda YA2 thing, is a, that's a worldwide event, so that's coming up. Uh, uh, there's something going on in, in India. I did a whole bunch of calls. I didn't, didn't say what the special events were. And Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Victor Uniform 4. Uh, prefix, uh, it says Whiskey 4 Kilo Victor Uni- Unit. He's an American. It'll be QR. It'll be, it'll be operational as VU4A. Oh, that one's already over, too. So, uh, okay, that's kind of what I got in the world. I know there's been a lot of, a fair amount of DXing on. So I understand there was a, a, a solar storm of some type this week that might have disrupted things for a little bit on the HF bands, but uh, we're still hanging in there as far as the sunspot cycle is concerned, so uh, I invite you, invite you to uh, to uh, get involved with that stuff, especially if you're only around 10 meters. Uh, I know, the, I know the, the FT8 operations have been very busy uh, on uh, 10 meters on down, there's even been some stuff on six meters too. I haven't heard that, but mostly because I don't have an, an antenna for that system. But uh, there's been a lot of act, a lot of radio activities. We are at the high spot of the uh, of the uh, sunspot cycle too, of course. Okay, um, I'm going to take a standby. Do you have any repeats or anything they've heard? This W3OC. Kilo Mike, four hotel, Charlie Golf, doing a radio check, seeing if you can hear me. Can you give me the rest of your call? Kilo Mike, four hotel, Charlie Golf. Okay, got Kilo Mexico, four hotel, Charlie Golf here. You're five and nine, uh, I'll pull quiet again to the repeater. Thank you. Okay, anybody else uh, for anything before I switch over to Newsline? All right, let me flip the switches. Let's get over to the news line. Amateur Radio Newsline report number 2458 with a release date of Friday, December 6, 2024, to follow in 5, 4, Three, two, one. The following is a QST. Satellites get the OK for direct to cell phone service. At two universities in India, ham radio is not just academic, and repeaters in the Pacific Northwest light up with a flurry of FM activity. All this and more as Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2458 comes your way right now. From around the world, this is Newsline. Amateur Radio's independent, on-the-air news and bulletin service. And now reporting from Valparaiso, Indiana, here's Paul Brown, WD9GCO. Our top story this week comes from Washington, D.C., where Starlink satellites recently received the FCC's go-ahead to provide emergency service for mobile phones, particularly in emergencies. Ken Peterson, KC0DGY, brings us up to date. SpaceX has received permission to provide Starlink satellite service to cellular phones in areas of the U.S. where terrestrial networks do not operate. The Federal Communications Commission gave its approval in late November for direct-to-cell capability known as Supplemental Coverage from Space using second-generation Starlink satellites that will be launched soon. There will be as many as 7,500 of these new satellites that will be capable of providing this kind of mobile phone service. SpaceX has a lease agreement with cellular provider T-Mobile for this service in the continental U.S., Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico. Earth-to-space communications will occur on the frequency range between 1910 and 1915 MHz. Space-to-Earth communications will use the range between 1990 and 1995 MHz. The FCC order, dated November 26, said that direct-to-cell capability is designed to provide a more robust link to emergency services with severe weather or other conditions do not make conventional connections possible. The FCC said that before Starlink can provide this service to mobile phones outside the United States, it would need permission and licenses from those countries' governments. 
the FCC said that various subbands between 1429 and 2690 megahertz would be used for this purpose. This is Kent Peterson, KC0, DGY. A recent online forum hosted by the Radio Society of Sri Lanka takes a look at how low Earth orbit satellites are changing the world of communication. Graham Kemp, VK4BB, brings us up to date. Satellites are playing a greater role throughout the world, from communicating directly with mobile phones to providing a network that enables disaster response at different levels. On December 1st, a presentation hosted by the Radio Society of Sri Lanka outlined these revolutionary changes that have been happening in countries throughout the world and the roles that low Earth orbit satellites are playing. The guest speaker was Kusel Opa, VS7KE, VK2KSL, a senior wireless architect based in New South Wales, Australia. The 90-minute session, which was called The Future of Connectivity, was live-streamed on YouTube and is still available for viewing at the link in the text version of this week's newscast at arnewsline.org. I'm Graham Kemp, VK4BB. There's always something fascinating going on with the citizen science team at HamSci, and now there's a new way to keep track of what they're up to. Kevin Trotman, N5PRE, tells us how. The Amateur Radio Citizen Science Investigation Team, known as HAMSci, has begun publishing a new quarterly newsletter focusing on hams and the scientific community. The newsletter, which is delivered as a free download, contains updates on ongoing projects and related activities. HAMSci's founder, Nathaniel Frizzle, W2NAF, expects that the new publication will enhance communication among supporters and observers. In addition to bringing readers up to date on various projects, the inaugural issue features a number of profiles of volunteers deeply involved in HAMSci's work, including data analyst Gwen Griffiths, G3ZIL. The Whisper enthusiast has been deeply involved in various propagation studies. The newsletter download is available at hamsci.org slash newsletter. You can also visit the HAMSci website at hamsci.org to add your name to the mailing list. This is Kevin Trotman, N5PRE. Amateur radio operators aren't just communicators, they're teachers. Two groups of these radio teachers visited college campuses in India recently and imparted some important lessons. Here's Jim Meachin, ZL2BHF, with the details. The first college in India to add amateur radio studies to its undergraduate curriculum hosted a seminar geared towards young ham radio operators on December 1st and administered a test to students seeking the required operating certificate. It was a final exam of sorts for 75 of the undergrads at the Ramakrishna Mission for Vikanandra Centenary College. The date of the program was significant. It marks the 166th birth anniversary of the pioneer scientist Yagadish Chandra Bose. The ham radio coursework began in July conducted by HAMS of the Indian Academy of Communication and Disaster Management and the West Bengal Radio Club. Now all that's left for the students is to await their test results to learn whether they qualify for the Amateur Station Operator's Certificate from India's Ministry of Telecommunications, allowing them to set up stations at home. A few days earlier, on a college campus in Kolkata, 156 students at the Women's Christian College received another kind of lesson in amateur radio. The same two organizations offered an overview of radio's essential role in disaster mitigation. The one-day workshop was led by Debuta Mukherjee, VU3JXA, Subhankar Saha, VU3XSO, Somal Chakraputi, VU3FWK, and Ambrash Nagpisla, VU2JFA. The college principal said she expected to introduce amateur radio formally into coursework at the school soon. This is Jim Meachin, ZL2BHF. Half of the members of a community service-based amateur radio club in Connecticut turned out to recently provide radio support for a major fundraising road race. The radio team included the youngest member of the club, a newly licensed 10-year-old boy who teamed up with his grandfather. Dave Parks, WB8, ODF, has that story. The Manchester Road Race isn't just an established fundraising tradition in Connecticut. It's now a family affair for Jack Robinson, KA1GCZ, and his 10-year-old grandson, Aiden Karp, KC1TWN. 
Both of them are members of the Bears of Manchester. The club acronym stands for Better Emergency Amateur Radio Service and has a club call W1BRS. On Thanksgiving Day, the 28th of November, the two amateurs help their fellow club members relay information about the whereabouts and well-being of the 12,000 participants running along the 4.7-mile course. They also kept a watchful eye on the more than 30,000 spectators. This kind of public service radio became a regular family affair after Aiden got his license last December, joining his three cousins as well as his aunt and uncle as hams. Jack said Aiden, who is an active member of Bears, also enjoys fox hunting activities that the club hosts and keeping a watchful eye on the weather as a skywarn spotter. Aiden is the youngest amateur to have ever provided this kind of support for the road race, but because the sixth grader has inspired other kids, that might just change soon. Jack told Newsline that ever since Aiden was seen in the spotlight with his radio, lots of area youngsters will be signing up to study for their license. This is Dave Parks, WB8ODF. Time for you to identify your station. We are the Amateur Radio Newsline, heard on bulletin stations around the world, including the AA9RT repeater in Shiloh, Illinois, on Sundays at 7 p.m., following the Prime Amateur Radio Association, K9JHQ Net. W3OC. If you're involved in using digital modes to deliver vital information during a crisis, or you want to learn more about how others do it, the Utah Digital Communications Conference might be a good place to start. Conference planners are also looking for presenters to share their ideas and methods. Here's Cell MB, KB3TZD, with the details. Amateurs with insights into some of the roles the digital modes can play in emergency communications are invited to be presenters at the 8th Annual Utah Digital Communications Conference. The one-day event will take place on Saturday, the 22nd of February, on the Miller campus of the Salt Lake Community College in Sandy, Utah. The organizers hope to be able to offer an array of topics, including the use of WinLink, VARA FM, and the Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network, or ARDEN. The conference is being held in collaboration with the Utah VHF Society. There is an online forum for submitting proposals on the conference website, where you can also find information about attending. Guests under the age of 18 are admitted for free. See the link to the website in the text version of this week's newscast at arnewsline.org. This is Cell MB, KB3, TZD. Yes, there are a lot of opportunities at this time of year to work Santa Claus on the air, but have you ever thought of a QSO with Santa from his QTH near the South Pole? Amateur Radio can make it happen. And John Williams, VK4JJW, tells us about the magic involved. If you believe in Santa Claus, and who doesn't, am I right? You probably believe that he lives only at the North Pole. Wrong. Santa has a summer home, and here in Australia, you can find him in Mangara, Western Australia, where he's in his shack, excited to have finally got his Australian call sign. It's VK6 Santa. And he's making good use of it right now through to the 24th of the month by hosting the VK6 Santa Amateur Radio Net. Santa's a very happy new Australian op, and he's spreading holiday cheer. Visit his page on QRZ.com and you'll find that Santa is eager to work local hams as well as some DX. He's on 2 metres as well as 10, 20 and 40 metres. If all you want for Christmas is to get Santa in your Yuletide log, you might just get your wish. This is John Williams, VK4JJW. Ho, ho, ho! In the world of DX, listen for the Bahrain Amateur Radio Society using the call sign A91ND through to the 16th of December to mark the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day. QSL via EC6DX. Other amateur radio groups will be joining the celebration on the air, including the Emirates Amateur Radio Society, calling QRZ as A60BHR from the 11th through to the 16th of December. The Saudi Amateur Radio Society will be on the air as HZ1BHR 
The Kuwait Amateur Radio Society will be calling as 9K9BHR, and the Royal Omani Amateur Radio Society will be using A43BHR. See QRZ.com for individual call signs for activation and QSL details. Listen for Take, JI3DST, calling QRZ as J6RRR from Miyako Island, IOTA number AS079 through to the 31st of March, 2025. Take will be using a variety of call signs throughout the state, including JJ5RBH-6, JR8YLY-6, JS6RRR-6, and JS6RRR-P on FT8. Visit the JS6RRR page on QRZ.com for QSL details. On Wake Island, IOTA number OC053, Allen, KH7AL, is operating as KH7AL slash KH9, holiday style. Listen for him on single sideband and some CW on 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, and 10 meters. See QRZ.com for QSL details. The special event call sign PH24XMAS will be on the air to celebrate Christmas and the new year from the 6th through the 28th of December. The call sign PH25HNY will follow from the 28th of December through to the 5th of January. See QRZ.com for details. For motorists here in the U.S., a roundabout is another word for a traffic circle, a kind of road that isn't always easy to navigate. In two western states, however, ham radio operators recently enjoyed a repeater roundabout, and it became a happy weekend journey for an ever-widening circle of friends. For our final story this week, we turn to George Zafiropoulos, KJ6VU. For the third year in a row, hams in Idaho and Washington state took a special adventure together on dozens of the region's VHF and UHF repeaters. The event was known as the Repeater Roundabout, and this year's roundabout, held on the weekend of November 23rd and 24th, was put together with 186 regional repeaters in 70 radio groups. The event's creator, Quentin, K7DRQ, said the goal has always been simple since the first year, getting hams to meet new people and work repeaters they don't ordinarily make use of. Quentin said it is also a great way to introduce ham radio contesting to those operators who use repeaters. Unlike the roundabouts of the two previous years, which counted contacts made on Echolink, IRLP, All-Star, DMR, and D-Star, this year's event was FM only. To help everyone prepare and learn to practice programming their rigs with repeater frequencies, Quentin said participants were provided with a chirp file. Both Quentin and co-organizer Matt, KI6KTE, could readily see that even before all the logs were submitted, there was one early and immediate measure of the roundabout success. Quentin told Newsline, this year a new ham made his very first contact during the event. That turned this particular roundabout into a winner circle. This is George Zafiropoulos, KJ6VU. You haven't sent in your amateur radio haiku yet for Newsline's haiku challenge? Take a break. Go QRT for just a few minutes and set your thoughts down using the traditional haiku format, a three-line verse with five syllables in the first line, seven in the second, and five in the third. Share your ham radio experience poetically, and then submit your work on our website at arnewsline.org. With thanks to Amateur Radio Daily, AMSAT News Service, Ars Technica, David Behar, K7DB, the FCC, 425DX News, HamSci, Jack Robinson, KA1GCZ, Millennium Post, NewsWest, Quentin, K7DRQ, QRZ Forums, shortwaveradio.de, Statesman, Utah Digital Communications Conference, YouTube, Zero Retries Newsletter, and you, our listeners. That's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline. We remind our listeners that Amateur Radio Newsline is an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization that incurs expenses for its continued operation. If you wish to support us, please visit our website at arnewsline.org and know that we appreciate you all. We also remind our listeners that if you like our newscast, please leave us a five-star rating wherever you subscribe to us. For now, with Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team worldwide, I'm Paul Brown, WD9GCO in Valparaiso, Indiana, saying 73. As always, 
We thank you for listening. Amateur Radio Newsline is copyright 2024. Okay, it's W three O C. That concludes this week's news line transmission. Okay, uh, that's kind of what I got. This time I'll take some late check-ins. Anyone else for check-in? Is that so going on? W three O C. Please check in Alpha Alpha Three Mike Romeo A A Three M R. Name is Walt. Mobile here, coming off the Elizabeth Bridge. Good evening to you, Chuck. Everybody on the net. No comments. Net control, please copy Whiskey 3, OIE, Mitchell and Glassport. No comment. Net control. You can copy uh, Whiskey 3, Sierra Hotel, Fox, the handheld portable pit turn uh, upstairs. And Alpha Alpha 3 Mike Radio Mobile, Whiskey 3 Oscar India Echo, and Whiskey 3 Sierra Hotel Foxtrot Portable. Anybody else, please? Looks like we got a band opening. There's some stuff coming in from the uh, probably the Oil City Repeater. Anybody else wishing to check in? I'm going to close the net out at this hour, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll see many of you folks who have signed up for the uh, the club uh, uh, holiday dinner this Saturday at 1 o'clock. So um, if it don't here to see you over there, we're going to, uh, maybe we'll see some of you up at the uh, operations night coming up this Thursday also up at, up at Lincoln up there, Lincoln Borough Walter Park Company. If I don't see you at any of those, I'd like to wish you all very... Uh, uh, happy uh, happy holiday season. So what? I count 24 check-ins on the list here this evening. And with that, we're going to turn the repeater back to John Armitage. So it's W3OC, also known as W3O1. Good night.